everyone, my name is Benjamin Heldner, born with hearing loss. Welcome to my tutorial for people with hearing loss who want to improve their communication abilities in noise and over distance. For example, at work it is expected that everyone contributes to the communication. However, having a hearing loss makes it sometimes hard to really participate because people are speaking fast or they may have an accent or someone is sitting across the table far away. My solution for this is the Roger Select and the Table Mic 2. These are wireless microphones who have integrated microphones that pick up the voice. The clean signal is sent wirelessly to the hearing aid or cochlear implant. So today I'm going to give you three tips how you can improve your communication abilities at work. Tip number one, it's all about meetings. Let's start with a small one, for example something like this. At such a meeting, I place the Roger Select in the center of the table. And now, the Roger Select picks up all the participants that are sitting around this small table. If there are noises, for example traffic noise from outside, or other people chatting near nearby, they won't be picked up by the Roger Select, so I can fully concentrate on the participants that are sitting close by at the table. If the meeting gets bigger, for example like this, at a long table, then I always place the Roger Select at the other end of the table, then these people will be picked up by the Roger Select and sent wirelessly to my hearing aid. The people that are sitting close to me, they are picked up by my hearing aid or CI microphones. The most tricky situation, however, is a large meeting room, something like this. Here, you definitely need the Roger Table Mic 2. The big benefit of the Roger Table Mic 2 is that you can create a network of multiple table microphones. So now you can actually place two or even more of them on the table in this large meeting room configuration. So, for example, in this configuration, I place one Roger Table Mic 2 in this corner and the second Roger Table Mic 2 in the other corner. And now the Roger Table Mic 2 pick up the voice of all the participants in this large meeting configuration. Tip number two. At 12 o'clock, everybody goes to the canteen for lunch. So this means there is a huge noise level there and making it hard to communicate with your workmates. So also here, I take the Roger Select and place it on the center of the table. But the Roger Select helps me to have a relaxed lunch time and I'm reloaded for a hard day in the afternoon. Tip number three. Part of my job is taking part at presentation where there is a presenter that also presents via notebook and often in these presentations there are embedded videos with sounds. In such situations I'm definitely going to use all of the three Roger microphones. So the Roger Select I'm clipping on with the clip to the presenter. Now I can hear the presenter over the distance. Then one Roger table mic I'm going to place in the center of the table to pick up the questions from the participants. And the second Roger table mic too I'm going to attach to the presentation computer with a simple audio cable that I can plug into the Roger table mic too and in the headphone output of the notebook. Now the sounds from the videos are also transmitted via radio waves directly to my hearing aid. So with this configuration, I can now capture all the sounds that are presented during this presentation, making sure I can fully participate in this presentation. That's it for today. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, just make a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. This is Benjamin Heldner. See you next time.